God damn! Just when you'd lost all hope in humanity and you didn't think human beings could be any more disgusting, any more vilified, any more just degenerative. I can't think any more words because I'm dumb, but if you can think of some good words to describe human beings as, let me know down below because we are just the worst. We are the asshole of the universe. Literally, everything that's produced on this planet is shit. And I have, an ev I have, an I have another video, probably a thousandth, one of the... Moron. Probably one of the millionth videos I've come across myself that just proved to me that human, if human beings got extinct tomorrow, you know, if someone slipped, accidentally fell on the big red button and that said nuke and sent them everywhere, I think everyone would probably go, yeah, it's probably about time. I think we've outstayed our welcome, haven't we? I don't think anyone particularly has outdone themselves or is certainly getting the uh, MVP award for humanity, let's put it like that. Maybe, maybe a few scientists, I don't know. But I've, I came across this video a couple of days ago now. You might have seen it online, but I want to break it down. Like We're going to break down an English essay about everything that goes wrong, the reasons I'm... I'm glad this person had a camera, and what hopefully happens to these degenerative pieces of bum crack farts. Total annihilation. Let's delve in. So, it's about a uh, collision that occurs. But it's crazy. Like, he had one hand on the... What the... Oh, my God! Oh, Didn't hit her, so notice that they try and making it so that the person behind them hit them. Very poor driving, just cut in front. What happens next, you ask? Oh, oh just reverses God. into him. God, I would be. Oh if someone God, did that to me, I'd get out. I'd be out there screaming at the middle. What the? What the hell is going on? What are you doing? Could you not fucking see me? I have intense road rage. Even when I play GTA, I get road rage. You know, if I crash and kill three people, it's their fault for standing on the pathway that I ran them over on. You know what I mean? Incredible road rage. It never stops. I just get angry. You know, people drive dumb. They are just idiots. Like they don't know how to drive. I'm young as well. No, I'm not. I'm an old man. You know what I mean? So I. I've been on roads for longer than you've been alive, boy. And just watching some people drive, you just look at them. Like, do you ever do it? Like, you see someone and they, they're stopped to the lights ahead and you're going past them or whatever, and you look at them and you slow down just so you can stare them in the eyes just so they know they're a fucking moron. I do that on a daily basis. Now, that is not even the funny part about this. The funny part about this is them trying to act and pretend like they've done nothing wrong. Reversing to you? Yeah. They look, they see the cameras, they get out, oh... oh. Head hurt. Hurt head. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the three brain cells I had been saving for one day had finally dissipated after I reversed into them. Oh, no, brain. The thing is, as well, how do you reverse into someone like that? You have to put it into reverse. I presume this is an automatic because all Americans drive automatics. We drive manuals. A bit more effort. I prefer a manual, though. It's more engaging, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you get bored. You just pretend you're in a go-kart. They put it into reverse once they'd stopped and then went straight back into them. That may If you drive, you know, that makes no sense. Why would you need to reverse then? Why? You just stay still. You're not going forward. You're not you're certainly not going backwards. Like, dickhead. Look at this oh, acting here. I mean, oh, my God. God. Then they whip out the cameras, like, oh, yeah, let's take pictures. Like, I feel so bad for the woman. You can hear the panic in her voice. I'm just glad she's on her phone to her husband, which I presume, or boyfriend. Taking pictures. Taking pictures, like, like, look, can you not see the camera? You don't need any pictures. You guys are in the shit. I'm going to take you to court for ruining my day. What happened? Oh, I'm so delusional. I have no idea where I am. Am I on Mars? Am I on Neptune? No, you fucking idiot. You're on a road because you just reversed into someone and soon you're going to be in a prison cell, which is what you deserve. This is fraudulent behaviour. They're trying to scam, con this poor woman into getting money from either her or an insurance company or something like that. Now, how this will work now is she's obviously got cameras at the front and the back, which amazing it shows why you need them uh, i don't have them personally but you should really get them after seeing this shouldn't you and they look at the cameras and go hmm this might not have worked to plan so she's now going to go to her insurance company and say these people just reversed into me i have the video camera and the proof to fuck your fucking day up bro and i hope she does i hope she ruins these people so bad that they go to prison and they're never allowed to drive again that's what they deserve and they go oh no do you see that yeah shit camera oh no our fraudulent scheme i do dr doofenshmirtz level of Evil is not going to pay off. Whatever will we do? Hopefully you go to prison. I never have to see the fucking taking a picture of the reg. What the fuck are you doing? And look, this is the this is the uh, behind. That's what she said. So obviously driving, driving normally. She has to slam on her brakes. Hear the skid. 
Or when someone just reverses into her. Oh, it's a horrible scream, isn't it? It's a real like, oh, ah. <laughs> like, as in, like, she was nervous. I mean, I can't believe someone done this to another person. Like, I understand, you know, some people don't like people. I'm one of them, but I could not imagine doing this. Like, this is disgusting, degenerate behaviour. Like, making someone's day stressful and horrible like this. Like, crashing into them for a bit of cash. Like, I don't know how this would work in insurance. And if you're an American, please let me know down below. So, who's going to pay that? Who did they want to pay them? Did they want this woman to pay them? Or did they want their insurance business to pay them? Because in, in the UK, we, we pay for insurance and then uh, basically what happens is you pay this insurance company like a, a yearly fee a monthly fee whatever it is uh, and then if you have an accident like this then the the your insurance company will cover you up to a certain price it's a lot more complicated than that but basically that's how it goes let's say if you needed four thousand pounds worth of reconstruction work to the car done they would cover most of that and you'd maybe pay 500 at the end of the day because it's a severe but if it's something smaller or if it's third party which is compensation which is like someone else then they would pay all that and you don't pay for them that's the whole point of insurance there's different modes you know how it is so i don't understand was they trying to like get money from their insurer trying to get money from their this poor innocent lady here you let me know now as you can see nothing happens here i mean they just reverse into it i mean these are just degenerate i hate people like this just trying to con scheme their way through life no i i, I completely believe in trying to make yourself and life better for everyone around you but there's six people in the car here you know what i mean all taking pictures of the registration she just reversed into that what were you expecting to happen like anyway guys sip of batman i want to know what you guys thought do you think this is a scam or do you think this was a severe mistake that some, you know, they need sympathy for and maybe some counselling and I'm just being too harsh? You tell me. Anyway, guys, interesting clip we had there. What do you think?